This is a public health crisis the likes of which we haven't seen in more than a century. I'm Josh Sharfstein, and I'm the Vice Dean for Public Health Practice and Community Engagement at the Johns Hopkins Bloomberg School of Public Health. I want to be of direct assistance to health officials, governors, mayors who are reaching out. Um, but I also want to bring the strength of the school to all of those people and their organizations. So I'm constantly linking faculty, trying to identify ways to bring the research that the school does to the point of action, but it takes on kind of a special urgency in the middle of this crisis. Every Thursday, I participate in briefings for the mayors. You can revise that judgment over time. We cover how businesses should reopen and other topics that are of great interest to the mayors. We've covered vulnerable populations. Pandemics tend to identify the weaknesses of societies. And here we are again with the COVID pandemic, illustrating some of the vast inequities that exist in countries all around the world, including the United States. When the pandemic was in the early stages, we thought there will be a huge need for good information. How could we make this available to people generally? And so we thought we could start a podcast. Welcome to Public Health On Call. I'm Josh Sharfstein. We had no idea we would be, within a few weeks, close to a million downloads. Here's a question from someone in Massachusetts, and it has connected me all across the world. Dr. Rivers, thank you so much to alumni doing great work on the COVID pandemic. Well, what I would say is that these potential numbers are possible. In general, at Johns Hopkins, we have an obligation to be able to give good information and make sure people have a trusted source for information when they're very worried about their own health and their own lives. Why is contact tracing so essential? Well, contact tracing is a way to slow the spread of the virus. I see my role as not just talking to the media directly, but bridging the gap between people who may be working on their projects and the public that really does need to hear from them. There's no question about the sense of mission that we have to save lives and, and help the country and the world in the middle of the COVID pandemic.